Hey, what's going on guys? We're down here in downtown Kittery. It's called the Kittery Foreside. We're gonna take a look around. We're gonna take a walk around and check out some of the shops and see what's going on down here in Kittery. I'm gonna, not gonna lie, I've already had a famous Lil's Crawler and it was absolutely delicious. So come on and check it out with us. By the way, if you're new to the channel, I'm Cam Avery. This channel is all about relocating to Seacoast, Maine and Southern New Hampshire. So if that's something you're interested, make sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, let's go check it out. So as you can tell, it was a beautiful day. We'll call it spring, but honestly, it was still kind of cold out. As you can tell, it's not quite yet spring yet when you look at the trees. So if you've never been to Kittery uh, in the foreside before, it's really not that big of an area. Uh, there's a couple of great restaurants. It's a, like a very mini Portsmouth. Here on the left is Anju, which is a noodle bar. Just have some amazing noodle bowls. Definitely check that out if you're in the mood. Couple crafts shops here, a vinyl store, and then the main attraction, the coffee shop Lil's. You have to get their crawlers. If you go to Lil's, you have to get the crawlers. And the iced coffee is also amazing, but definitely check it out. It's got a really cool vibe in there. And then the juicery. So if you're in the mood for like a smoothie or something a little bit more healthier, the juicery is a really good option. They have some really cool smoothies. There's a parking lot on the left here, so if you are coming on the weekend, try that parking lot first. And if not, you can find street parking. So as you can tell, cars are leaving the shipyard. This was around 3.30 shipyard traffic, so I'm crossing the road here to avoid that. Then there's a couple other shops here on the side. Rudders is a great restaurant too if you're in the mood for you know, American burgers, uh, sandwiches, steak. Definitely check Rudders out. You can see they got a little outdoor patio there. And if you feel like pizza, definitely check out Wood Grill Pizza. They've got some great options and are a really, really good place to go if you're in the mood for pizza. There is an art gallery here on the left. And then a more higher-end food restaurant, if you're in the mood for, is called Annika, John, Annika Jans. Excuse me. Definitely check that out if you're in the mood for a more higher-end restaurant. There's the shipyard there you can see. And that's pretty much the foreside, or what, what we would consider the foreside. So as you can tell, there's not a ton of shops, but the shops that are there are definitely worth checking out. Obviously, you could see a bar on the left here that you could visit. shops, hairdressing things. So as you can tell, Kittery definitely has a nice small town New England vibe. There's the church, offices, apartments, personal residences. And this area right here is essentially within walking distance of Portsmouth. So you could technically walk from where I am to downtown Portsmouth and cross the bridge. It's not the shortest walk, but it could be done. And there's one other thing I wanted to show you, which is Tulsi, which is an award-winning Indian restaurant. And uh, you don't necessarily think of Kittery for Indian food, but really amazing Indian food there. And so as you can tell, the cars are leaving from work at the shipyard. And so that is the Kittery Foreside. Hope you enjoyed it.